Move closer. Okay, I'm gonna be tying Francisca's gillet. I'll be using the sago, you know the sago is the very long one. So um, this is gonna be my first time actually trying the multiple pleat gillet on anybody. So just um, bear with me and we will um, take you from there. So, so I'm gonna start by forming four pleats, okay? Which has been pre-made. And I'm going to place the four plates on the front of her head, just like my friend showed me. So as you can see, this is properly layered all the way down, okay? Now, properly securing it in, I'm going to crisscross my hand to the back, having her hold this end for me while I start to form my pleats from this end. So I'm going to start from the placing my pleats on the fifth Layer. So pardon the noise, I'm, I, I just placed my first place on the fifth layer if you can see and I'm going to start creating the extra creases to form the other parts of the ghillie. Now I'm not so much a fan of this style of ghillie but I just decided I have to challenge myself to make sure I know how to do it just in case I have clients you know that requires that is what they want made so let's see how that goes like the regular gilly not too much of the pleat so I'm gonna combine what I learned using this because some lots of people want the multiple plate and I'm gonna use my own style that I already know on how to tie gilly to completely form it so I'm just gonna keep forming my pleats and making sure I have a well-rounded at the end of the day. Now let me just state right here, the lady sitting down here is a student that came to learn all the way from Canada. She flew down to learn how to tie, get it all the way from Canada and um, I love this opportunity that I'm actually learning this with her. So I've never done this before, this is my first time of doing this. So now securing both gilly from the back, like I said, I'm going to use both methods that I already know how to use to complete this gilly. Okay, as you can see, it has quite a lot of pleats. I need you to hold it right here. Now I'm going to come to the back. Look down, sweetie. I'm going to come to the back. If you can turn around, just roll it, roll on the chair, roll on the chair, there you go, there you go, there you go. I'm going to come to the back and tie the back. Now, 
you never know it to all. The other day I was in here with a friend of mine. I was tying someone's gilly and she showed me a trick to forming, to making sure the gilly forms round very well. I fold it when I want to do it. But she showed me that if I pull and pull and pull, it forms the rounded end. And I tried it and it worked. So I'm going to apply that method right now. So I'm going to tie it just once in the back. I turn around to the and I'm going to completely form the rounded gilly like I learned. Oh man, these people are going to keep calling me. I need to learn how to cut my tie off. Um, Benjamin, Mark, wait, brother. I'm in class. I'll call you back. I'll call you right back. I'll be able to cut it so don't worry. So I'm gonna come back here using my old method, my style to keep forming the pleats and the creases. Now I'm going to secure it. <laughs> be able to tie it like this. I'm glad, because you can see I'm just learning it too. So, wow. I'm glad we're learning this together because I promise you, I've never tied this before. And you can even see me sweating. Oh my <laughs> gosh, yeah. Yeah. You know, so. So for a first time trying this mm -hmm. pleated gilly, I think I need to get a pass mat. Yeah. <laughs> so let me zoom in or bring the camera closer for you guys to see. This is the pleated gilly I just formed. And let me just take it around. And that's what the back looks like right there. I'm giving it the 360 view, so Hi you guys, see me, there is um, no Mago Mago. So, this is the Gilly, okay? This is my first time trying this and I love it. If you like this, if you want to see more, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my video because now I'm going to be doing lots and lots and lots of Gilly videos. I'll be doing the Ascot Gilly soon, it's very, very soon once my mother comes here. I'll do the Ascot hair tie. I'm going to do my bridal hair tie. So whatever styles you want to see, please just let me know and I'm going to create those styles. Thank you very much. And um, you need to come and tie this next on my head. So we'll see how that's going to go. Okay.